What's going on guys? Preston here with Xtrades and today we are going to be talking about Options Greeks, what they are and what they do. So the first Options Greek is pretty important. Um, it's Delta and Delta is the total amount the option price is expected to move based on a $1 change in the underlying security. So in easy terms, it's basically how much your option will move when the underlying stock price, like the share price, goes up a dollar. So for example, if you had a August 20th put with a delta of negative 26.8, you, you would lose $26.80 on the contract price if the stock price goes up by $1 and vice versa with um, a call. If you had a August 20th call, the Delta would be positive 26.8. So you should gain $26 and 80 cents if the stock price goes up by a dollar. Um, out of the money contracts have lower Delta. Uh, obviously, like when you're playing super out of the money weeklies or anything like that, you'll notice that with, if the stock price goes up by a dollar, then you don't necessarily get the move you would as if you were way closer to at the money or in the money. Um, so that brings us to the next point at the money Delta and in the money is higher Delta because in the money, the contract is basically moving with the stock price itself and at the money is like the um, contracts are pricing in that it could go in the money because it's so close. So the Delta is higher factoring in for that uh, possibility, possibility of going in the money. So the next options Greek is gamma, not necessarily too important. It kind of is a, um, a way to see the future of what the Delta could be. So gamma is always positive, uh, measures the rate of change in the Delta for each one point increase in the underlying asset. So it's kind of like futures for Delta, um, not necessarily anything too important to worry about there. Uh, theta is one of the most important options Greeks uh, that we will talk about. And this, this is one that beginners to options trading or experienced shares, uh, shares traders coming into options, they have a big problem with because either a beginning options trader doesn't, they just think like, okay, I make money when the, when the share price goes up on a call and when the share price goes down on a put. But there's these options Greeks that goes into the price itself that it shows that there's way more factors than just the underlying share price going up and down that changes a, a options price. So we have theta, which is time decay of an option. So a options contract is a decaying asset every second, every day it is decaying. So it explains the effect of time on the premium of the option. And it, you'll see it, it'll be like theta and negative 0.2. So that shows every day that goes by, that contract is worth $20 less, essentially, or $5 less, depending on whatever the theta is. And it, it, fairly easy to explain a contract with further out theta, or a contract with further out expiry, excuse me, is... Um, a lower theta because you have more time on the contract. So the theta will be much lower compared to when you're playing say weeklies or a monthly, the theta won't be too bad. But when you're playing a weekly, the theta will be pretty high because like you're getting near that expiration date. And so not too many people are going to want to buy it and it's about to expire worthless. So the, the price of it or the theta, the amount that the contract loses value each day is going to go up and up as you get closer to that expiration date. Vega is uh, 
not necessarily not necessarily volatility so volatility measures fluctuations in the underlying asset that's things like vxx vix all, all of those sort of volatility uh tickers vega measures the sensitivity of the price of an option to changes in volatility so basically an increase in volatility causes an increase in all options prices because options basically thrive off of volatility in essence when a stock moves a lot like contracts will all contracts will receive a boost but vega measures the volatility for that option and so if the stock price were to move in the right direction and it's volatile it vega will be higher whereas if there's volatility and the stock price is moving in the wrong direction per se the vega will be lower even though the contract price may change a little bit because it, the share price is volatile regardless um and then each contract has different vega vega results in different effects of volume per con or volatility per contract sorry it's just yeah again the volatility of the share price in whichever direction it's going for that contract it'll benefit it more if it's going in the correct direction that you want it to go and another one that's uh not too important is row uh row and gamma aren't necessarily important but i mean they play a factor there's multiple other greeks such as lambda and um some other ones but these are like the main five it's mainly the main three but rho and gamma kind of get thrown in there but just a good good rule of thumb is to pay attention to theta vega and uh the delta so rho is the measure measure of an option's sensitivity to changes in interest rates so options gain slash lose in price dependent on a one percent change in interest rates so for example a call option with zero point uh, one zero or ten ten dollar row will gain ten dollars with a one percent increase in interest rates pretty uh pretty easy to understand i mean not something you have to be too worried about because everyone kind of pays attention to interest rates anyways but it's just how interest rates factor into when you're playing options because they have a factor in uh shares and or other companies themselves so it plays a factor and a role in options trading as well and so here's just a little snap uh, snapshot overlooking the uh, five main options greeks uh i you can screenshot this or um print it out it's you can get a picture of like options greeks on google images or anything and print it out put it on your wall it's always good to have like chart patterns or um options greeks and stuff like that just because there's so many greeks there's so many chart patterns that printing them out and putting it on your wall so that you can like double check yourself with the right name uh double check the pattern itself is always always good to have on hand or on your wall in in your office if that's where you trade um so here's just a little overview you can pause it read over everything again but yeah that's options greeks thank you for watching and have a good one